don't just be one of them guys that five o'clock i'm out like don't don't be one of them guys seriously what's going on guys assalamu alaikum welcome to amigos code just imagine if one day you come into the office as a software engineer and then they just say you know what it's your last day or maybe you receive just an email if you work from home saying that it's your last day now this can be you know really devastating to some people and uh, i just want to address that um, yeah so right now it's really tough times and um, there's this website called layoffs.fyi and it says that currently there's 836 companies that are firing 136,539 employees so this is just like insane and we can look into you know the stats here but if i just have a look at d so let's just um, put a sort in here you can see that facebook so far have fired 11,000 people amazon 10,000 booking.com um lately twitter um with elon musk and it's it's um its own rules and whatnot which i, I want to I talk to you about but this is 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 tough on you guys especially for those that have been fired so far i wish you all the best finding other roles and uh, yeah so what i want to talk to you actually is the fact that elon musk he walked into the office and he fired a bunch of people one of the key metrics that he looked for firing people was the amount of code written by engineers which is like crazy right so he walks into the office and then he says look go and print every single line of code that you've written so far and show it to me and uh, you can even see pictures on twitter of people you know printing their code which is like like seriously like how can you judge performance by looking at the amount of code that you wrote so far right and even though like it, like lines lines of code it doesn't really tell anything because just imagine you might you know um, just do like refactoring renaming a method or a, a, a variable which is used by i don't know maybe a thousand classes that will be counted as added changes right so you cannot really use that to judge performance on your engineers so if you've joined a company recently you know that it takes time for you to get going on a large code base right so you need to learn the code base you need, you need to learn the patterns you need to figure out how things work if you want to make a change is not as, as as trivial and um yeah so if you're a new joiner does it mean that you are fired like it's 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 insane right and one question is like how do you even measure how do you even measure so you know that you know if you are maybe you know a more senior developer then maybe you'll be doing more uh, of the meetings with external clients making decisions on which uh, technologies to bring in or how to architect um, the application on, on a bigger scale which products to use so you are not involved in coding as much as you were before right so the same with people that um, you know fix bugs you know there's times where fixing a bug can take you even weeks to just find you know the the issue of um something which is causing trouble maybe sometimes it's just a matter of you know bumping a version of the library that you're using but it can take time to find that bug and in the meantime you don't see any 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 github stats saying that you know you, you you've committed this many times no but you still are you know trying to solve a problem which is affecting you know the the actual platform and i just don't get it then on the other side you've got you know maybe other engineers which mainly just um just change a bunch of configuration and that <laughs> like how they judge performance this is this is this is what i want to get at and it's really sad to see that you know a lot of people are being fired and um yeah so if you work for twitter i just want to say like i'm really sorry for what's happening right now and i'm pretty sure that you'll be be able to find a job right so obviously there's now you know companies which are uh, no hiring because of what's happening the recession coming on and uh, you know interest rates and the war with ukraine uh, basically everything is just like mad right now so all i'm going to say to you is that you will be fine because you worked for you know one of the tech giants 
and there's you know companies out there ready to use your expertise to drive their business forward to drive their technology forward and my final thoughts on this entire thing where you know people are getting fired and whatnot i just i just have to say you know it's very it's really sad because we promote tech saying that it's really good. You've got free lunch. You've got all these nice perks. You've got free stock. You've got the ability of working from home and it's chilled. And you've got all these nice MacBook Pros and Airs and, and all that good uh, tech stuff. But uh, when stuff like this happen, it's, 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 it's difficult. Especially if you have a family, if you have you know mortgage, if you've got bills to pay. Um, a lot of people, you know, are... are getting depressed by this entire thing like how do you cope when stuff like this happened and in my case to be honest i don't know like what would be my reaction if all of a sudden i walk into the office and um i get fired literally i have no idea but uh yeah it's it's something that happens it, it's it's not the first time that we see this um I, i've experienced myself I, one day i walked into the office and the team next to me, they were like all quiet. And I was like, yeah, you know, I, I can I can sense that something happened. And then I went and asked one of the employees and he was like, do you know, um, you know, the, the whole team just just um, just just got fired, basically. And I was like, what? It's like that. He said, yeah, just like that, man. And yeah, I just want to say sorry to hear that. And for those that work for companies right now and you are concerned about Checking the number of lines that you've pushed to get. All I'm going to say is work hard. Try your best because, you know, people that work with you, they, 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 they know what you do. And um, there's, there's, there's other ways that you, you contribute to the code base or to the tech stack, which, you know, is, is not that visible through lines of code. Um, and yeah, I think companies shouldn't really use that as a metric to judge whether they they will fire engineers or not. Um, yeah, it's it's tough. It's tough. So I, I I would say right now, you know, work hard, really hard. Like literally, like just just work hard. Like I remember one day someone was complaining about. Oh, I think we stayed until two a.m. Um, I think it was like doing a release for a, a, a third party app and it was just crazy, right? And then um, someone was complaining. I was like, dude, like, like, like we get paid for this. Do you know what I mean? Like, you know, just, just work hard. Like, you know, whatever you do, just, just, just work hard, like give your best and the uh, people will appreciate, you know, don't, don't just be one, one of them guys that five o'clock I'm out, like, don't don't be one of them guys seriously so at your company give your best work hard and be a developer that will set examples if you enjoyed this video give me a thumbs up comment down below and let me know your thoughts this is all for now i'll catch you on the next one assalamu alaikum